CSPD is warning the community about a troubling trend of sextortion across the nation and here in Southern Colorado. They say scammers are now targeting teen boys. Here to News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live in our newsroom to explain how. Annabelle. Bart, Colorado Springs police say this is happening on all kinds of social media platforms and websites. Scammers will reach out to children online, convince them to share explicit photos, and then threaten to share those photos if they're not paid immediately. It can start with a text, a follow on Instagram, a new friend on Snapchat, and a few decisions later, panic. There's been a big increase since 2019, 2021. Um, nationally, they've seen th those cases doubled. Colorado Springs Police Lieutenant Owen Scott is talking about sextortion, which happens like this. Messages are exchanged and someone cho shows a romantic interest. Explicit photos are solicited and then shared. And almost immediate, about 79% of all the cases, they're asking for money. Scott says those demands often come with the threat. If the teen doesn't pay up, the scammer will share the photos online. And right now, nation Nationwide and in Southern Colorado, the biggest group targeted is teenage boys around 15 to 17 years old. Matter of fact, I just read a report today um, and I, I, I sent it over to our Internet Crimes Against Children unit to kind of review um, to see what information we can get if we can identify a perpetrator from the information, what app they were using. So as they see new cases come into their department, Springs Police are warning the community and they're encouraging parents to open up conversations about this with their kids. One of the methods was, hey, I just read this article article about this happening. Has this ever happened to you? Do you know anybody that's ever happened to? With hope that they can stop more kids from finding themselves in that panic. It's not an easy conversation, um, but it's a necessary conversation. Now, the police department says many of the scammers are from different states, which can make it hard to find and prosecute them. But they say the department's Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force partners with 99 affiliate agencies to track them down. Reporting live in our newsroom, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13.